one click, second click, three click. Start. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I have a game between Hikaru Nakamura and Andrei Esipenko. With the white pieces, Andrei Esipenko, and with the black pieces, Hikaru Nakamura. So, uh, this game was played in the FIDE Grand Prix Leg 3, and Andrei Esipenko begins the game with E4. Very solid move, and Hikaru responds with the same move, which is E5, but in the other direction. So, we have a piece development which is important in games like chess. So now all the players are developing their pieces and we have the fear annoying move, which is knight a5. What does this move does? Okay, this move is threatening the black, the white bishop, which uh, how we can see the bishop cannot escape to, to go. Oh, so for example if goes to b2 the knight will take it and on c4 the knight will take it and and all of, a lot of another square are already taken so why waste an opportunity to develop the quitter queen which how we can see before no after this game will open will be an open game so we have a pair of trades, both develop the pieces to preparing the castles and castle for both sides. So pawn a4. Why not pawn a4? We have seen that this move is played for computer and that that means that it's very strong move. And so therefore it is. Ah pawn a5. Now, uh, this is the merge between human and computer, pawn f5, and a6, because if white, black allows this pawn to keep pushing, uh, this pawn is going to take the pawn on b7 and threaten the rook. So now knight g3, asking trade of bishop is the only remaining bishop of white and why not trade it and forgetting about bishops so trade of bishop and g6 very committal move kicking out the knight so this knight has to retreat or go for a check she chooses retreat and According to Totsvi, it's an accuracy because obviously it would be better to create a check and blunder the knight in the next move. But he does of this way and rook a1. And how we can see this is a very deep move. And uh, an trained I I didn't see what this move does. It's protecting the pawn on e5, but uh, it will be better to choose an attack and leave the queen on a5 where it's nothing happening right now. So now a pair of maneuvers. Now this queen is the in, is in the dark square. White spent two moves to place their queens on d2. So knight f6 uh, protecting. Now pawn f4. How we can see this position is going to open at any moment. So why not take the pawn and forgetting about push the pawn and open all the position for black. So rook takes a knight x5. That is the reason because now this knight is threatening the rook that has to retreat. It's plain and simple. And queen g5. And it seems like black is really improving their position. Now there are two, two three pieces counting the, the bishop of black squares and rook f1. For me, this was the best move because now you have two connected rook preparing an attack. So 
now the queen takes a pawn this will happen mm, and how we can see the queen is doing nothing right now only for the cost of one pawn this is possible right now because the more active position is for black black color afford this kind of move so uh, now Black, white says, okay, your position is more active. I'm going to show you that you are wrong. And chasing and chasing away the knight. So knight is for to retreat. And knight goes to f5, sacrificing the knight. But it seems that in this in this game, anybody wants knight, and they are so powerful and don't take it okay i'm going to create a nasty check only move king a8 so now sacrificing another knight and obviously black is not going to take it so the knight can go to anywhere and, and be sure that black is not going to take it so now uh, white has a triple stack and it's important to highlight the pawn. The point on f6 is weak. It's only being defended by two pieces. So why not protect it with pushing the pawn? And that happened. And now uh, the knight falls. Falls, how was expected. But it means that the knight on on h5 is becoming alive now um, so now rook a8 the reason of a rook a1 was because the black knight is going to jump to a4 and stopping all threat of of the rook the rook and the queen only stop it by one single knight so we can see in this place of position the knights are more strong, are stronger than two rook and a queen. So queen is forced to retreat, and knight goes to g5. And how we can see now it's impossible to to protect the pawn on f5 and push it anyways and protect with my knight. So now queen d7 attacking the knight. Oh, how we can see a uh, rook take the knight, and and according to Todd Fitch, this is a brilliant move. The reason is in this kind of position, a, a knight is more valuable than a rook. So we have pair of threads, and in this scenario, uh, this rook f1 is very human move. Because now that you have one single rook, you are not going to allow black to control the only open light that exists. So therefore, queen goes to put a pressure to the pawn on f6, rook g1. Mm, I think this is a very strong move because in the next move, is the knight is threatened and discovered. So the queen doesn't matter where the knight goes, the queen has to move. So and um, why not chase away the, the knight? That anyways in the next move is going to move. And knight move. And here we can see a uh, rook f6. This very strong move. This is not only attacking to the queen, is offering a threat of queen and white resign and you might be asking why resign if i trade my knife for the rook that according to the feet was more valuable well in ending in ending game at uh, in general rook are more valuable than a uh, knight uh, let me show you what will happen uh, what? Ah, okay. Trades. And I'm going to play a horrible move. Uh, ID pad. 
for example, I am going to allow you take and how we can see, uh, Rook are very strong. So uh, Hikaru Nakamura wins these important games and maybe many of you know already that, but Hikaru is going to play also in the candidate and if all going well, he will have an opportunity to to challenge the world champion, which is Magnus Carlsen. So it's all for today. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.